Hey, Facebook, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. What's up, Vicky? What's up, Joe? How y'all doing today? What's up? Let me know what part of the country y'all checking in. Tara, how you been? West. In the Garfield Heights. Barbara, how you doing? Let me know where y'all checking in. What part of the country? What it do, what it do. Alisa, Akron, Ohio. Alisa. All right, all right. Come on in, come on in. Share the video with everybody. Kentucky is in the building. Nappy runs EAK. What's up, Mark Young? All the way out in uh, Florida, Miami. What's good? Tell everybody I said what's up there, too. All right, yeah. So uh, we're on Facebook Live as well. Welcome to the show. It's going down, y'all. We're getting ready for the All White Affair. It is back. Tickets are almost gone. It's going down this Sunday. There's a day party at Silks, and there's a, a, a night party, um, All White Affair. Both going to be bananas. Go to samsilkwithy.com or silks, S-S-Y-L-K-S, to get your tickets. We will be sitting up the deck, taking pictures, getting it in, All White Affair this weekend. So, yeah. We diving inside of this letter, inside of reality. Right, what we got going on? All right. Dear Sam, my husband and I have been married for seven years. We have recently been going through a rough patch about finances and lack of affection in our marriage. We decided to separate and work on ourselves. We meet for lunch every Saturday and dinner every Sunday. It's been, it's been two and a half months of this. We met yesterday and his phone kept going off. So I asked the question and I was not looking for the response I received. He said it was a young lady he was interested in. I am devastated at this point because I thought we were working on ourselves so that we can get our marriage back on track. I just need some advice. Should I continue to keep going the way I'm going or should I just move on and wash my hands of the marriage? I am so confused and hurt right now. I don't know which direction to go. Please help. Well, y'all decided to break up or split up. Yeah. Did you all discuss whether or not you would see other people? Because mm -hmm. when, you, when you move out, that's possibly going to happen. Right. You or him. Because you said your sex life and some money and all that other stuff wasn't popping. Then y'all started seeing each other again on the weekend, Sunday for breakfast. Well, Saturday for breakfast, Sunday for dinner. At least he didn't lie to you. Yeah. He didn't lie to you. So you need to ask yourself the question. Are you all going to move back? Ask him, look, are we going to work it out or are we not? Don't waste your time or waste his time. You know you won't back in. You want to go home and work it out. But if not, yeah. he told you the truth. Oof. And he, he met somebody care. interested in. And he answered the phone and he ain't lied to you. He, he didn't put nothing up. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out with my wife for breakfast. All right, let me get back in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at this point, I don't think he, he's too concerned. If he, uh -huh. if he has the phone going off and... He's he's telling you about um, some other woman. He might be halfway out the door. And who idea was it though, for y'all right. to do this? Mm -hmm. It sounded like it was your idea, and it looked like it right. didn't work out too well for you. And that's what it sounded like, exactly. Yeah. Well, she said they had some money problems or something. Yeah, they were having some um, financial issues. And um, lack of affection in the lack marriage, so they were already mm. yeah. So he probably was like, "Ooh, finally I get to get a little, you know, a little kissing and hugging and Man. all the stuff that I was missing." Now I'm listening to what you're saying. You brought up the money, lack of affection, those two things, right? Mm -hmm. But yet, y'all still spending money on one another, going to breakfast and lunch, and mm. you got two rent, so. Where the finance problem at here? Right. Where the money problem at if y'all both seeing each other and you both got separate places and you're still married? Mm. 
Facebook. Am yeah. I am I wrong here? You're right. Let's read. Uh, let we we'll read the comments. We're gonna read some of these comments right here. Napoli one zak Sam Six Show with Bijou Star. We up in here in South Reality. Our real people, real life situation. What's up, Troy? Checking in. What's up, Lynn? Checking in. G- uh, Joe, where you from? Where you, where you checking in? Barbara, where you? Barbara Smith is in the building now. Deborah Williams, welcome. If y'all just tuning in, we're talking about the lady who sent her letter in Reality Hour. Her and her husband been having um, some financial problems and uh, not enough affection for, her. so they separated. But then they started going back out for breakfast on Saturday and dinner on Sundays. And she said things are feeling really good, right? At least well, she thought. I mean, yeah, that's what she thought. Until her phone rang and she said, well, who was that? Who was that calling me? <laughs> oh, that's just some girl I'm interested in. <gasps> wow. <gasps> mm. Broke that face. Yeah. Mm. So... Uh, she want to know what should she do. What's her question exactly again? I mean, she wants to know, should she continue trying to work things out separately or should she just wash her hands of the whole thing? work it out separately. You need to say, look, That's I right. want to work this out. Do you want to work it out? He's either going to say yes or no. Yeah. Based upon what he says, then y'all make a decision. I would say y'all need to get back in the house and try to work it out that way unless it's some other stuff i don't know nothing about but right. if you all didn't have a full understanding when y'all left if you're not having sex and you and and you say you're not getting the infection you need and then if it's a financial problem i can see how it is when you are paying rent somewhere else he's paying rent somewhere else, but y'all still dating on on saturday and sunday Right. Y'all can play that at home. You can change the living room. You, you, the living room can be a new place. <laughs> and you can door dash a different meal. Yeah. And then you can yeah, be in the kitchen to, to, at Sunday night and, and go and cook something. And I'm just saying. Yeah. Comments what you got. All right, now Joseph said, when you separate for more than a week or two, you learn how to live without someone. He's learned how to live without you. Don't start sleeping with him in hopes that it can save your marriage. Oh. It won't. Yeah, Mark Mark Young says, how old is this couple? Did she say how long they've been together? Uh, seven years. Oh, seven, seven years? years? Oh, man. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's early. That's, that ain't no time. Yeah, I, I don't think you can do that separate thing because. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> listen, not and we we talking about him. I'm pretty sure you probably saw somebody you was interested too. You probably just ain't moved on it. He just opens up the door for more temptation. That's all it does. And then it, if you get hit, I mean, if he hit her, mm. or if you if you hit him during this time. I wonder who was who was um, you know withholding the affection. Was it her or was it him? It sounded like it was her. Which means y'all need to get my book. Is it them? Is it me? <laughs> Available right now on Amazon. <laughs> Seriously, it's a great one. It's a great right. read. Go get your book right now. It is. He was and, honest. Um, yeah, he was. He said. She said. Who was that calling you? Oh, this is female I'm interested in. <laughs> like they homies. Yeah. Mm-mm. More comments, what you got right quick? Now, Jessica said, I appreciate his honesty. At this point, he's showing you what he's on. Yeah. As hard as it may be, I would move forward with my life. Forget these Saturday morning breakfasts and Sunday night dinners and leave yourself open for someone who's interested in you. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, man. Leave your comments. Help her out. We got more coming up on the show. Z-A-K. Yeah, that's a tough one. Hey, thanks, Deborah. but uh, there's not a lot of people who want to work right now, so they don't open up when they want to. We just open them up when we can get people to work. So until the, the, the workforce is back in um, America, unfortunately, a lot of businesses are experiencing people who don't want to work because of the extra money, and some people feel like they're not safe being out 
but they go everywhere else though. So yeah, that, that's that's to answer your question. <laughs> Don't miss a night at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe I want to work. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Cedar Point can't even open. Cedar Point, right? A lot of businesses can't even. Really? Open. Yes, a lot of the stuff can't open. They don't have people open. to work the ride. And, and they said and they're and offering the twenty dollars an hour, up to twenty dollars an Wait hour. Wait a second, that's a great. Ki- they don't. They're not hiring Cedar high Point. schoolers anymore. But what? They can't Man. find enough people. Great job for the can't summer. Find that's a great people. summer gig. Jeez yeah. Louise, twenty dollars an hour to work at the vending stand, please. I wish back in the <laughs> that day was our dream chicken. job, though, wasn't it? Right. When what? we was in high school, what? At Cedar what? Point, Six so Flags. Fast. Y'all don't know about no Six Flags, do y'all? Twenty an hour? I'd have been balling all summer. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> they don't know but nothing Lisa, about this good money Robert, out here. No, nah, they don't know nothing about that. Mm. Melissa, Tiffany, checking in. Hope everybody's well. So get at us uh, this uh, weekend. We'll be at the uh, at Silks for the All White Affair uh, day party and a evening party. All right, night party, and we going hard. Thank y'all for rocking out with us. All right, peace. 